everyone. Wanted to circle back now that the, <laughs> the afternoon has come and revisit this problem. This is uh, the one we were discussing. Uh, we found the answer, but uh, as uh, we discovered, we did it in kind of a kind of a funky way, really had to think carefully about some things, uh, did the order of integration that was probably not advisable. And apparently Matthew and I had had a conversation about this one some time ago. And I had said that, um, I had said that uh, it was probably easier to do it in the other direction. And indeed it is. So thanks to Matthew for reminding me about that conversation. So here it is. So as we surmise, so X is gonna be the arrival time for the man at this uh, restaurant, and Y is the arrival time for the woman. And we were given that their arrival time was between, for the man, between 12.15 and 12.45 uniformly. And we kind of convert that to a numeric scale. So we just say that that's basically uniformly distributed between one quarter and three quarters, okay? It doesn't have to be 12.25 and 12.75. We can shift everything over between zero and one. And same thing for y, except we have 12 corresponding to zero and one corresponding to one. We have the marginals up here for x, um, which we had found before, and for y. And once we have those, we have the um, joint probability distribution. It's just two whenever x is between a quarter and three quarters and y is between zero and one and it's zero otherwise. Okay, and we even just drew a sketch of that in that uh, other discussion that we had. So basically we wanted the probability that they will arrive within five minutes of each other. And really five minutes is the same thing as, you know, one twelfth of an hour, okay? Because everything that we've done here is, is in the units of an hour, okay? And so that's what we wanted. And, and the main observation is this. This is the main observation. If we let the man's arrival time kind of dictate what's going on, okay? Uh, so for instance, the earliest the man will arrive is at 1215, which corresponds to one quarter. Well, in order for them to arrive within five minutes of each other, that means that Y would have to arrive sometime between 1210 and 1220, all of which are valid arrival times for Y, right? because y could arrive any time between 12 and 1. And of course, 12, 10, how do you get that? Well, you go, you go to a quarter, right? A quarter past the hour, and you go back by a twelfth of an hour. So that's a quarter minus a twelfth. And the latest y could arrive, in order to guarantee that they're within five minutes of x, would be at a quarter plus a twelfth, okay, which is 12, 20. Similarly, what if, it, what if the man arrives at the extreme uh, later end of his window? Well, that would be at the, the three quarters, which is at 1245. And that would mean that Y would have to arrive sometime between 1240 and 1250, which are all valid options. So no matter how extreme X is, Y can always go down by five or up by five minutes from that. And, and all of those are valid for Y. So that's kind of the key, all right? So uh, again, in this case where X is equal to three quarters, that means Y would have to arrive um, um, no, no sooner than three quarters minus a twelfth of an hour and three quarters plus a twelfth of an hour. And the general case is this one right here, namely that if X is anything, any of its valid, um, any of its valid numbers, then Y would have to arrive between X minus a twelfth and X plus a twelfth. Uh, and all of those are going to be legitimate uh, options for Y because Y can be anywhere between 12 and one, okay? Here's kind of a pictorial rendering of what's going on. Um, we had, <laughs> we, we actually had this picture, but we kind of carved it up in, in a funny way before. And essentially what we've done here is we've said, well, X, X could be anything, X could be anything between a quarter and three quarters, okay, right here. And of course, Y can be anything between zero and one, right? Okay, so we get this red box, which are the valid uh, ranges for both X and Y. Okay, so that red box is the rectangle of values over which the joint PDF equals uh, two. So 
let me just write that f of x, y, the joint PDF equals two in the red box, in the red box, okay? And essentially what we do is we say, well, y equal to x is that black line going through there, okay? And y equal to x minus a 12th is the line below uh, that's parallel to y equal to x. I've kind of drawn that in there in purple. And y equal to x plus a 12th is parallel and above it. And none of those lines kind of uh, goes too low in that red box or too high. All of those, no matter what x is, y just needs to go between those two lines. So you give me, you give me a specific x value, y just is going to start on the lower line and go up to the upper line. And that's the key. And so what we wanted to do for x and y to arrive within five minutes of each other, that's a one twelfth of an hour. Okay, that's the same thing as the probability that that the absolute value of x minus y at y, right? So the absolute difference is no more than a twelfth of an hour, which we can we just get rid of the uh, the absolute values by going between negative a twelfth and positive a twelfth that difference. Okay, and that just means that y has to be between x minus a 12th and x plus a 12th. And now we can do this via an integral. Okay, so let me just go up here. This is equal to, I'm going to let x go between all of its possible values, which is 1 fourth and 3 fourths. And then y simply has to go, has to be something between x minus a 12th and x plus a 12th. And of course, the PDF in that range is 2. Um, the, the density is two, so this is dy dx. Now that first integral is quite easy because it's just gonna be two y, and I'm gonna take the difference between x plus a 12th and x minus a 12th, and when you do that, the x is cancel. You just get 1 12th minus negative a 12th, which is 2 twelfths, uh, right? So that's 2 twelfths times two is 4 twelfths. So overall, if we get that this is the integral from one fourth to three fourths, okay, uh, which is four twelfths, a third is the constant that we're going to integrate here, okay, and that's dx. And what do we ultimately get here? One third times the length of the interval, which is one half. So this is one third times one half, which, is a sixth exactly what we wanted. Again, we did kind of one part and the other part. We got a twelfth each time, which totaled to one sixth. Okay, so there it is.